Good morning. Welcome back to our vlog. Is there in our bed? We just finished watching church, didn't we, Baba? Yeah. So we finished watching church in bed. This was just in the bed. It's a massive bed for a little baby boy, isn't it? Yeah. That's my husband, you can hear in the background, it's Matt. <laughs> He's just starting breakfast. Um, today we're just basically, it's just a day at home. Um, I'm going to do some baking, so get that done. Just a basic day at home, chill Sunday. Sunday is our home day. Um, once obviously church churches are open back up to go to church mass we will be going there but at the moment we just watch church in bed and we feed Ezra and that's our life at the moment with all this lockdown and everything going on I'll show you little bubble boy you just smiling hey huh? He is his most happiest in the mornings. Um, don't know why, maybe it's just because he had a full night's sleep. He slept from about 10.30 last night to 6am this morning. And then I get, pop him in the bed with us, feed him, and then we both fall asleep in bed together. Safely, he's in the middle of the bed, up the top, in between our two pillows, so he's not going to roll over into us and we're not going to roll on him, so it's all safe. We, I'm very um, conscious about that and I don't really sleep when he's in the bed with us, I just lay next to him. So we are safe about it and he only sleeps in the bed for like an hour to two hours max and then I'll generally put him back in his bassinet or I'm, I'm up with him anyways, so, but he is all safe. So don't worry there guys, it's safe. <laughs> Just dressing little Ezra in his outfit. Good vibes. See? And then we'll put this one over the top. Oh. Nice flannelette one for the um, cold weather here in Melbourne. That boot. Three pieces left, I'll just put them in the fridge. Yeah. He's all dressed. Yes. These are cute little onesie. This is what we got from Costco. It's really warm for him. Very fascinated with his hands lately. Hey, Bubba. Just having breakfast now. Matt's emptying the dishwasher. I've got a croissant for breakfast. And we have a lemon tree that backs onto our house from one of our neighbors that it hangs over. And I got some lemons off there, so I'm gonna make some lemon and raspberry freons that I just made a recipe up for. And um, I'm gonna make some lemonade as well because it only needs two lemons for the freon, so I've still got heaps left over. I'm gonna make some homemade lemonade as well. We're just gonna duck to the shops to get a few things for that. And that's so far for today. We've just got Ezra chilling on the floor. Chilling down there. So we're just gonna get ready and go to the shops and just continue our day. So we are back from the shops now. Got the shopping on the floor there. And I'm just going to put that away there and I've got everything out ready to make the free arms and the um, sugar and water on the stove top for the simple syrup for the lemonade. Everything out ready. Just got to turn the stove top on. I've got the oven on preheating as well. Getting it done. That didn't turn on. No. Doesn't want to turn on. Come on. Turn on. Let's get it. Nope. Now it's on. Gas stove tops. And then my husband is just down there. It's Matt and Ezra watching the rugby. Sports is finally back on, so that means less TV time for me. 
And then I'm probably going to do all the cooking and stuff like that. And I'm going to go watch some 13 Reasons Why. Because I didn't know Season 3 was out. I uh, had already come out. So I was behind. So I'm going to watch Season 3. And then I'm going to watch Season 4 once um, I finish watching Season 3. And yeah. I know that show is a bit con controversial. Can't speak at the moment. Um, but for me, I like watching it because as a little, like when I was in school and stuff like that, I was a bully victim. So I was bullied a lot every time I went to school. So I just like watching it because it's actually putting out like a good message saying like bringing awareness to it all and everything like that. I know that's a bit of a, like the show's more of an extreme end um, of bullying and harassment, but it's just, it's nice to see something being put out and done about all that stuff. So we've got the uh, stuff of the Freon set up now. Uh, I have juiced all those lemons, zested two lemons for the Freon's, egg whites, so six egg whites separated from the yolks. And here you've got almond flour, flour, plain flour, caster sugar and icing sugar. So you've got a cup of icing sugar, a cup and a half of almond meal. Uh, a half a cup of plain flour and a half a cup of castor sugar. You got the juice of two lemons, and then over here I've got the lemonade already done. Then basically I lightly whisk the eggs, and then add the eggs into the dry mix with along with the lemon juice and a cup of raspberries. And that is my Freon recipes. Oh, and I also have a teaspoon of vanilla essence in with the egg whites and butter as well. But the butter exploded all through the microwave. Look at it. So that's a mess now I've got to clean up. But let's make the friands first. So we go and make the friands. Set you guys up. Sorry about the sound. 
around I'll put some music in over the top of it because it's not a very nice sound. Okay, lightly whisk so there's aerated. Add that in. raspberries through. I just use frozen raspberries because it's cheaper than fresh ones. There we go, so that's it before the raspberries. And now I have the raspberries. golden with free arms because of the almond meal. Lemonade is all made up. Just bringing that to the boil. Pop them in, bake them and then we're going to go sit down and watch some TV. Is he asleep? Is there anything to eat? You can lick the bowl after I'm finished dividing it up. Sure you can. It does, it does taste really good. Yeah, the, the mix, the free hour mix. It's really good. Yeah, sure. It's fine. So I just use these silicon trays. Um, the silicon trays, um, again from Kmart. Gotta love Kmart. Everything there's reasonably priced. I'm not paying twenty dollars for a silicon baking tray. Um, just put butter in there. I'll sprinkle a little bit of flour in, divide the mixture up, and that's it. If you don't have like these silicon trays, what you can use is you can, you can bake them in patty pans. But just make sure you do like put like some oil or something in there, otherwise they're all just gonna stick to the patty can, patty pan casing. Um, or you can put um, little strips of um, parchment paper, like baking paper, in there, kind of like what the cafes do with their muffins, and then put it into that. Because then parchment paper's already kind of like got that um, slippery layer on it, so it won't stick as much. 
And that's that. And once they're finished baking, I'll show you guys the end product and we'll have a taste test. A few moments later. Friands have finished baking, the second lot are in, and I'll show you guys the end product. There they are. Yum. Husband's just on the couch with the mixing bowl next to him as he just licked it clean, watching the rugby. <laughs> and I am steaming up some dim sims for lunch in the pot. And that's basically it so far. And I'm just trying one of these le, le Crocs, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an American drink. I went to the American shop yesterday. I'm going to give it a try because we went to Costco and they didn't have the soda water I normally get. Um, it's just something that I can have rather than having soft drink. It doesn't have all the sugar and all the bad stuff in it. And we're just going to sit down and have some lunch. Um, we hopefully are going to get outside today and rake up all the leaves um, in the front yard and mow the backyard and whip a snip. Just depends on how dry the ground is because it did rain last night. We really need to get it done because it's all overgrown. And um, we have a big gum tree in our next door neighbor's yard so it just blows all the paper bark and all the leaves into our front yard so it's just really, really annoying. And that's basically us for today and then I'm going to hopefully edit a video tonight to put up maybe in another couple of days. I'm not too sure. So I just finished feeding Ezra and of course he has an aim of every day to vomit on me. Vomited on my jeans. Of course he has to do it at least once a day. He has to get me with his vomit. And I did drink that La Crooks. I don't know how to pronounce it. Can that one? It's so good. It's actually not like the flavoring's not too heavy, which is good. So it doesn't like make you feel like you're drinking something that's like really, really flavored. It's like got artificial flavoring and stuff. And then I've also pulled our ribs out for tonight because we are having ribs. Um, I do have a rib recipe that I make and I am putting a video up of that so they are really good so I suggest giving them a go um, I'll link the um, video link down below in the description for you guys as well and we're just gonna go outside now and hopefully my husband's gonna whip a snip and just mow the top of the grass just because it is quite wet little buddy here is just gonna sit in his bouncer and I'm gonna rake up all the leaves out the front so we're going to do that. I'll show you guys a little um, a before and after. I'll just show you the backyard. Sorry, it's a bit overcast here at the moment. So, it's starting to spit slightly. It's quite over. Oh, it's starting to actually rain. I don't think we're going to be able. Oh, yeah, it's actually raining quite overgrown so it really does need a mow and then this needs a trim too because look it's overgrown the footpath but I don't think we're gonna have to be able to uh, mow now so it looks like we're not gonna be able to go out and whip a sip and mow and rake because it's starting to rain so that's uh, put a damper on it all That's okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna go and watch my 13 Reasons Why then. Sit down and relax and with this one in the bed.